Blue Origin's mission is to preserve Earth by identifying additional material and energy resources, as well as relocating to space the industries that are likely to harm Earth. Named for the blue planet, Earth, from which the flights originate, the company is developing reusable rocket engines and launch vehicles designed to significantly lower the cost and increase the accessibility of space travel. So in this video, we are going to discuss SpaceX technology trumps Blue Origin. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Entrepreneur Elon Musk founded SpaceX on May 6, 2002, two years after Bezos established Blue Origin, with the goal of transforming the aerospace industry and enabling affordable space travel. Musk's overarching objective was to send a mission to Mars. The first rocket developed by SpaceX, based in Hawthorne, Calif, was Falcon 1, an expendable, two-stage, liquid-fueled vehicle developed to send small satellites into orbit that flew from 2006 to 2009. SpaceX also made reusable rockets. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos has unveiled a huge new rocket his space travel company Blue Origin plans to launch by 2020. Bezos announced the new rocket, called the New Glenn, in a tweet accompanied by a picture boasting its size. It's a reusable booster rocket that stands 270 feet. Tall, beating out SpaceX at 230 feet. Falcon Heavy and coming close to NASA's legendary 313 feet. Saturn V, the rocket is named for John Glenn, the only living member of the Mercury 7, NASA's first seven astronauts. Though smaller in size, the Falcon Heavy is supposedly the world's most powerful operational rocket, with 5.1 million pounds of thrust. According to Engadget, the new Glenn falls short of that number, clocking in at 3.85 million pounds of thrust. Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin has sued the U.S. government over NASA's decision to award a $2.9 ben lunar lander contract to Elon Musk's SpaceX, Bezos founded Blue Origin to pursue the dream of commercial spaceflight, which saw him, his brother, and two other crew members blast off from Texas. After that flight, Blue Origin offered NASA dollar Tubin if it would change its mind about the lunar lander contract. It did not, and the Blue Origin lawsuit was filed in the U.S. Court of Federal Claims. In a court filing, the company said it was challenging NASA's unlawful and improper the Federal Government Accountability Office. GAO, sided with NASA over its decision to pick a single lunar lander provider, rejecting Blue Origin's protest. Since it was formed, SpaceX has launched 134 missions with 132 successes, one partial success, and one in-flight failure, while Blue Origin has launched 19 New Shepard missions with only one partial failure as the rocket booster crashed but the passenger capsule landed safely. Also in attendance at the meeting was Peter Thiel, the billionaire investor who supported Trump during the presidential campaign. Thiel is the co-founder of the venture capital firm Founders Fund, whose investments include SpaceX. Prior to the election, both Bezos and Musk had been critical of Trump. In a November 4 interview with CNBC, Musk said he did not consider Trump the right guy to be president. He doesn't seem to have the sort of character that reflects well on the United States. Bezos has previously been a target for attacks by Trump, in part because of Bezos' ownership of the Washington Post. Bezos at times responded with humor, will still reserve him a seat on the Blue Origin rocket, Bezos tweeted in December 2015, after comments from Trump. Bezos, in a conference speech in October, criticized Trump for lack of appropriate behaviors in the campaign, including attacks on the media. That erodes our democracy around the edges, he said. In 2019, President Donald Trump was already planning to end his second term in office with a mighty blast that would secure his place in history. He would get Americans back on the moon in 2024, four years sooner than NASA planned. The last American astronaut to walk on the moon was Eugene Cernan, in December 1972 for Apollo 17. Those missions had been a momentous achievement, matching American technical mastery with human courage and the aspirational dreams of the whole world. 
But all that ambition suddenly dried up like the arid dust on the lunar surface. It was partly an inevitable pause. To have any lasting consequences, like establishing permanent bases on the moon, future missions would need to be far more robust. The technology wasn't yet ready for that. Robotic exploration took over as the next amazing wave of space exploration, needing none of the hugely expensive life support systems of crewed missions. SpaceX was a relentless 24-7 operation with 80-hour work weeks, while Blue is kind of lazy, a ghost town on weekends. That didn't mean that SpaceX engineers complained about working in a sweatshop. Quite the reverse, they were highly motivated to get results, and although they were generally paid less than they would have been at Blue Origin, they had Silicon Valley type incentives like stock options that rewarded top performers. Musk annually called the bottom 10% of performers to keep standards high. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.